guys, it's Teenage DC Fan back with another video. And a couple days ago, I made a video explaining that Andy Serkis is up for a role of a villain in The Batman. And I basically explained how he was probably going to end up being Penguin because there had been so many um, fan casting and fan art um, of him as the Penguin. Um, but in this video, I want to go over other possible villains that he could play um you know Andy Serkis is a great actor so he could honestly pull off any villain um so I'm basically going to go through the list of um of the confirmed characters or villains that we have for this movie so starting off with the Riddler you know Andy Serkis isn't someone that you would expect to play the Riddler but he's such a great actor that he would wow us like honestly he could pull off any character and i think he would be pretty good as the riddler um not so not s something i would expect but it would still be nice to see and then penguin uh i explained that in my other video he kind of looks like penguin well not really but i mean like there's been some fan art that shows what he would look like as penguin and it looks pretty awesome um, and then, basically, as for other villains, you know, maybe Mad Hatter. I think he would be pretty good as Mad Hatter. So that would be interesting to see. Uh, maybe, maybe Firefly, but I doubt it. And then, probably not Two-Face. But then also, just because those are the only confirmed villains, doesn't mean we won't see any other villains. Because it's been said that we're going to see a lot of villains in this movie. And they're probably going to go to Arkham Asylum at some point in this movie. So, that's where we would see a bunch of villains. And another character that I think Andy Serkis would be great as is Clayface. So, Clayface is a great character that everybody wants to see in live action form. And as you can see here on screen, this is kind of what he would look like as Clayface. Um, and Andy Serkis would be so great at it because he's more famous for his CGI work than he is for his actual acting because like Andy Serkis was Gollum in the Lord of the Ring movies I I think I, I don't know too, too much about that because I don't watch those movies um, but he was also Caesar in the Planet of the Apes movies and of course he was also um, Snoke in the in Star Wars Return of the Jet, no, Rise of the Jedi. I, I don't even remember what it's called, but the newest Star Wars movie, or whatever it was. Um, so obviously those were very CGI motion capture characters, but that's what he's most famous for. And then, of course, in the MCU, he played Ulysses Claw, which is really one of the first times that he's gotten to shown to show his acting abilities outside of motion capture. So, Clayface is a great character to do motion capture for, because not only, like, when he's in his true clay form, um, would it look awesome, but then also transforming and, like, shape-shifting into other people. I think Andy Serkis would do a great job pulling this off. Um, so yeah, plus, I, Clayface is one of my favorite Batman villains, and I would love to see him in live action. So, let me know down in the comments below who you think Andy Serkis will play in The Batman. Thank you so much for watching. Please rem remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video so I can bestow all my DC knowledge upon you.